What's going on guys? It's Nate from Nate Bauer Fitness and what we're working on today is a full body dumbbell hit workout. Now it's a little bit different than what you guys have seen in the past with a lot of boxing hit style sessions, but I play around with dumbbells a lot. What you're gonna need for this workout is two heavier dumbbells. The full body effect has a focus on legs today, so we're gonna be driving through our legs to get that full body burner. And of course guys, we're gonna get that killer sweat. This video is sponsored by my protein. They hooked me up with a huge amount of protein to keep me going for the next little bit. So if you wanna learn more about them and their vegan blend that I'm using for my nutritional needs for the next little bit, you can check those guys out at the end of the video. What you will need for this session, of course, is some dumbbells, but straight up, if you don't have heavy dumbbells, guys, try without it, I bet you still get a sweat. Here's a protocol. 10 reps of a hardcore hit style exercise, five reps of a medium-based exercise. We do those two exercises two times for the 30 seconds rest before we go into your next set of exercises. And we have three of those in each workout. And you're gonna repeat that whole thing. It's up to you two to three times. You're gonna absolutely sweat with this session and a little bit of space. So let's get these dumbbells in our hands and get to work. All right, guys, so I'm using 30-pound dumbbells. What I want you to do for your first set, remember, it's 10 reps. We're gonna be going through these. <coughs> swings first into bicep curls. Now remember the protocol for each one of these workouts as we go through each set is 10 and five. So you get 10 of these big swings and then five bicep curls. It would obviously be 10 if you're doing singles, five if you're doing doubles. Make sure you're using a weight that you can bicep curl with, all right? So we're working workout number one. It is round or set number one, which is swings and a bicep curl. We're doing 10 and five, so it looks like this. And then bicep curl for five. And then you bang it out again, same formula. And then bicep curls again. You do that for two complete rounds. Put the weights down, rest 30 seconds, and then we get into your next round. All right, here we go. Into round number two, your 30 seconds is coming down. What you wanna do here is get rid of one of these weights, hold it like this. You're gonna do a loaded skater with a rotation like this. Back foot can touch a little bit. Okay, the cue is as you come across, brace your core, brace your hips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Okay, then from there, what you wanna do is throw this on the floor or put it down nice and easy and go like this, slide under and you go for 10 total. Three, hips are tight, four, shoulders above your hands. Drive the toes down, push your hip flexors into the floor, not just your glutes. One more, grab your weight, no rest. Go again. Weight down. You know what to do. 10 and five. This would be 10 and 10 realistically because you want that five per side. Do two sets of that, rest 30 seconds, and then we're gonna roll in to that third round. All right, here we go. Round number three, grab your dumbbell again. We're gonna be working some frontal plane work. You don't need a lot of space. You need a little more athleticism or hand-eye coordination for this, but that's why we do it. Creative intensity. Go into your lateral lunge position. This is your 10 rep piece, but you can do 10 or 20 with this depending on how comfortable you are with it. You're gonna drop and catch in the middle. Keep your ass back or bum, whatever you wanna call it, right? But even, and then catch and rip across. Drive your big toe into the floor on both feet. If you have to pass, it's okay. It just looks better. You have to load up a little bit more if you throw that catch in. Once you're done that, actually don't drop your weight. Take your weight behind your back like this. 
grab it, both hands, and then arms back, and then lift. Small motion. Flex your triceps, keep your neck packed. Don't lean too far forward. Just hinge it and do five of those. Bring it back to the middle. Again, own it. 10 or 20. Okay, the way I see it is, you can go through this round or go through the session, two pieces of each, so that's 10, five, 10, five, 30 seconds, 10, five, 10, five, 30 seconds, 10, five, 10, five. If you're feeling like you want a little more out of it or you didn't go hard enough, go over the entire thing again. If you want a little extra, a little extra candy, hit it a third time, but I would stop it there. Maximum amount of performance and that 10 rep piece always controlled, this will light you up. This will get you fit. And uh, it's just a great way to change up a little bit using a dumbbell or dumbbells for an amazing dumbbell style hit session. Shout out to my protein for hooking me up with my vegan blends for this video. Guys, check it. If you wanna be part of the Nate Bauer Fitness team, which I know a lot of you already are, hit the sub button. That's gonna take you to videos released weekly or bi-weekly. It's also gonna give you access to Nate Bauer Elevated where you can find that premium content. I wanna give you guys mad props for absolutely crushing your workouts during this somewhat difficult time. It's all about community. It's all about us building together, getting you guys fit, and just making you think outside the box a little bit when you're inside one. Make sure you check out this sub button. Hit it to subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure you check out this link for Nate Bauer Elevated, but more importantly, stay safe. Much respect to you guys, and uh, I'll see you for the next workout.